it's Christina of Crafty Paws. I wanted to come on and share a layout that I made of my little baby Bandito <laughs> for his fifth birthday. His birthday actually lands on May 4th, which is also known as Star Wars Day because of that famous saying, may the force be with you, gets changed to may the fourth be with you on May 4th. And I had so much fun making this layout. This background is a galaxy watercolored background that I wanted to try immediately after I saw the scrapbook.com YouTube video of Ken Oliver using his color burst to do galaxy backgrounds. Now I did much darker shades because I wanted it to look more like deep space, but really you just need like a handful of these color bursts. And I used, for the most part, the darkest areas are done in indigo. I also use some alitherin crimson, <laughs> lemon yellow, just for the little highlights of yellow in there. And I think I also used, I might have used, yeah, I used violet. Anyway, all of the colors that I listed and all the supplies that I used are going to be listed in my blog post, which I'll also link to in the description box below. But basically, you spray this down with water after you sprinkle out some powder. It all mixes together beautifully, and then you wait for it to dry, or you can use a heat tool. And then after that, you can sprinkle on some water. And I just use plain water, and I kind of clap my hands like that, and... I also sprinkled on with a paintbrush when I knew I wanted to get some small splattering in certain areas. And that's what you do. You hold your finger out and then you take your paintbrush and you tap on top and then it sprinkles really lightly. And then lastly, after waiting for two or more minutes for that to kind of release the pigment from the watercolor paper, you can just roll a paper towel over it and then you get these great splotches and kind of the fade out areas that's all done from the water kind of removal, splattering and then removal of the ink. So it releases the pigment from the paper and then you get this really beautiful faint kind of splattered look. And then lastly, you add white dots. And for, to do that, I you can use plain acrylic white paint, but I like using the Copic Opaque White because it not only has a great, really fine tip brush that you can use to just dab the color, but it also is really opaque. So you don't get that see-through look that you can sometimes get with some acrylic paints. The pigment of the color burst won't come through those little dotted areas. Then for the focal point, obviously I took a picture of my El Bandito, that's his formal name, and I fussy cut that out. And then I also cut out using some textured paper. This is paper that I've had in my stash for a really long time. I actually can't remember where I got this from, but I used the reverse side because I wanted it to be a little bit softer. I didn't want it to fight against the dark, vibrant colors of the background. So I took the back side and I used some Tim Holtz Distress inks and I inked up this little hood that I made for El Bandito to make him look like an Ewok. And then right here, I just knotted up some twine just a little bit and I made little like quadruple knots here and wrapped that over the top of the little Ewok hood so that it would look, you know, like the Ewok hoods in the movies. And for the sentiment, what I did was I went on my computer on Microsoft Word, there is a function called Word Art and you can get this kind of receding uh, text look. So I printed out May the 4th be with you episode five because it was his fifth birthday and then the text that's in the opening of all of the star wars movies it starts you know a long time ago in a galaxy far far away and then i changed it to el bandito was born and that's it i made this otherwise really clean and simple i matted it on some white cardstock and then some dark dark blue like midnight blue cardstock and this is my star wars birthday layout for national scrapbook day I hope you guys get a chance to get scrappy and have a wonderful crafty day. Thanks for watching.